Hi, this is Jim, and in today's quick tips, we are going to continue our exploration of Excel pivot tables. Now, in our first video, we looked at 176 rows of data of our company staff, their salaries, their job roles, their educational levels, etc. And we had boiled it down with a pivot table to the various job roles we have and the average salaries paid out to each. So we're using of the eight fields available to us, we're using only job role and salary at this point. So what if we're interested in doing a comparison between male and female? Well, let's click on sex. And again, because this particular field is filled with text data, by default, Excel, pardon me, assigns it to the rows area and puts it underneath job role. I could move it above if I wanted to, simply by dragging. I can put it back. Notice what it has done. It has broken down each job role, because of the hierarchy job role comes first, into female and male and we can see the averages here, and we can compare them easily to one another. So if we wanted to simply say, what are we paying our male and female lab techs, this would be one way of doing it. Now, the only problem with this sort is that is you add hierarchies in the rows area, the pivot table gets bigger and bigger, and it begins to lose effectiveness. Let's go to the Analyze tab and go back to this active field. One of the nice tools we have is the ability to collapse all of them, expand all of them, or once again if we were only interested in lab techs, expand just the one at a time. Another option would have been because the sex field includes only two options, put it in columns. And now we can see, at a glance, everybody. So we can see our average salaries for HR managers, for research scientists, etc., etc. Notice sales executives, pardon me. We do not have any female sales executives. And it shows us blank. Now, many times the blanks are confusing, and we would rather show this as something like a zero. We can do that by going up to the Analyze tab and to Pivot Table Options. Let's choose Options. And the very first tab is called Layout and Format, and down here it says For Empty Cells Show, and let's make that a zero. And so now any time empty values show up in our table, we're going to see a zero. And this refers to the values area alone. Now what do I mean by that? Well let's first look at breaking things down even further. Let's take a look at education level. So I'm going to click on it. Once again it's going to put it in this area. But look what happens when I expand the field. Eh, it's okay. But notice Nowhere do we have all education levels represented in each job role. Lab techs, we have bachelor's and master's degrees. Research scientists, doctorates and masters. I'm, so I'm going to do a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to grab educational level. I'm going to drag it up here and do a filter instead. So the filter lets us choose. So if I want to see doctorates, I see only doctorates. However, notice all the rows that aren't here because there is no one with a PhD in that level. So I'm going to right click and go to field settings for this particular field. 
And you may recall this is where we changed in the values area from sum to average. Well, in this area, I want to go to the Layout and Print tab, and I want to say Show Items with No Data. And so now, whichever of these that I select, I will always see all of my job roles, and I will simply see those that do not have any entrance for that educational level, shown as zero. I can always go back to all. I can also select multiple items. So if I only want to see those with an advanced level degree, I will uncheck, uncheck bachelor, leave doctorate and master in, and we can see. We have nobody with an advanced degree who's a healthcare rep, and no female sales exec, sales manager, or sales reps with an advanced degree. And I always just go back to all, and it shows us everything again. Okay, well, this is the end of part two on pivot tables. And we will look at further refining this and adding slicers and timelines, which are very useful when we next meet. Thanks for watching.